All right, there's a video for 3HT about a couple of the exercises that you have to do today. Starting with exercise 51. It says here Frank has a large collection of DVDs. He has given each of his DVDs a letter code so we can keep track of the ones he has. He uses the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. How many four letter codes can Frank make when repetitions are not permitted? A repetition means that he repeats the same number twice. And here that's not allowed, according to question A. So he can't use he can't use a code that has A, A, B, A, for example, because then he uses three A's. But the number of letters that he can use is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are seven letters that he can choose from. So if he wants to make a four-letter code, that means that, for example, this is a four-letter code. It's B, C, G, A. That's one of the codes he can make, right? For the first letter, he has seven different options, one of those seven letters that we have. Then he uses one, so he can't use it again. So after that he has six options, after that he has five options, and after that he has four options. So if you type this into your calculator, seven times six times five times four, you get the answer, which is 840 codes. That's how many codes he can make using exercise A. With exercise B, there is a different criteria that we need to do. It says, each letter may be used more than once. So now he can use the same letter over and over again. So a code like B, 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 B is now allowed. He can use four times the letter B if he wants to. So this is what we get over here. For the first letter, he has seven different letters to choose from. For the second one, also seven letters, because he can still use the one that he already used. So we have seven times seven times seven times seven. If you have a bigger exercise, then sometimes it's more useful to write it down with a power, like seven to the power of four. Let me see what the answer will be. This will be 2,401 codes. That's how many codes he can make. Moving on to exercise C. It says repetitions are permitted, but each code must start with CD. So that's what he wants to do now. So that means that if you want to make a code, then the first, it has to start with CD. So here he only has one option. This has to be a C and this has to be a D. But after that, he can choose any letter that he wants because well, repetitions are permitted according to the exercise. So here we get 49 codes. Then we go to exercise D. Let's see what the criteria is there. It says each letter may be only be used once. And the code must start with CD. So this one is very similar to exercise C. The beginning must be the same. Here it's also 1 times 1. But now he cannot use letters again. So the C and the D he already used. That means that there are still 5 letters left. And then after that there are 4 letters left. So 1 times 1 times 5 times 4 is 20. So he can make 20 different codes. In this video, I'm also going to be talking about exercise 52. All right, so let me move this paper a bit, and let's take a look at exercise 52 here. It says, pin codes consist of four digits. Examples are 0065, 8632, and 4444. Those are a couple of examples that you can make. Question A, how many different pin codes are possible in total? All right, so there are um, 10 different digits to choose from, from 0 till 9. And the question does not say that you cannot use them again, so we're just going to assume that we can. So we have 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, so you can make 10,000 different PIN codes. That means that a lot of people actually have the same PIN code, All right? But if you don't have the correct bank pass, then you can't do anything with it. Moving on to exercise B, it says how many PIN codes with four different digits are possible? Alright, so now for the first digit we have 10 things to choose from. But then one is, la is gone, so now we have 9 options left, and then 8, and then 7. So the number of codes you can make is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. So in this case it's 5040 PIN codes. Moving on to exercise C, there the question is... How many PIN codes with four identical digits are possible? Identical means that they must be the same. So here we get, if you choose one, then the other ones must be the same. So you can make 10 PIN codes where all the digits are the same. 
And then exercise D. Let's see what the question says there. It says how many pin codes that only consist of odd digits are possible. So you have odd numbers and even numbers. The odd numbers are, or the odd digits are 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So in this case you have uh, 5 odd digits. So you can make 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. So many codes, that's 625 different pin codes. So this was a video about exercise 51 and 52. I'll make another one about a couple of the other exercises. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.